Yo, 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 yo. What's up, everybody? Great to be back. And today we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. <laughs> yeah, you know the thing that you said you would do and you did for like two weeks, but then you quit? Well, I'll tell you what, that all stops today. So I knew New Year's resolutions usually fail, but I was curious to see exactly what percentage of them actually do fail. Turns out 92% of all New Year's resolutions fail, with 46% failing after the first month. Like damn, are you telling me that we're so weak minded that only 8% of us can follow through on what we say we're going to do? Sad. Hey Arnold, you sad about this? Yes. Wow. I'm very sad. Wow. So why bother with New Year's resolutions at all? I mean, is it a lost cause? Good news is, there's hope. People who make New Year's resolutions are actually 10 times more likely to achieve their goal than someone who doesn't. So even if there is only an 8% chance of you making it, go for it. So here at The Health Review, we came up with a three-letter acronym for you guys to achieve your New Year's resolutions. S-E-X. Sex. So the first thing, the S, stands for make it specific. Having a New Year's resolution like exercise more is way too general. You're just giving yourself excuses to not follow through with it. What does that really mean, exercise more? I mean, I biked to school today, is that, is that exercising more? Instead, set a more specific goal, like go to the gym every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and attend the 5.30 p.m. spin class. The next letter is E. And E stands for make it easy and enjoyable. Make your goals relatively easy. Does that mean you should set a goal like walk 20 steps a day? Well, I don't know. Are you an octopus? Set a goal that's reasonable and can easily fit into your lifestyle. Don't be scheduling 5.30 a.m. morning runs every single day when you know you have to sleep at midnight. Like, that just ain't gonna happen and make things enjoyable. The more you find things enjoyable, the more likelihood it is you're gonna do it. Last but not least, the X stands for extreme. It actually stands for deal with failure. And I know it doesn't sound with X, but I just made that up. So the acronym is sex and it's easy to remember. You remember it now, right? Sex, sex, ha ha ha. This is the most important tip. No matter what you do, you're always gonna have some failures. You know what? I bet even Bill Nye the science guy was in third grade and he missed a point on his science test for misspelling brontosaurus, okay? And you know what? I bet all the kids in his class and Fox News came to his doorstep and were making fun of him and calling him names and blah blah blah. But you know what? Bill Nye the science boy stood up to him and he said, If you're gonna be a turd, go lay in the yard. Failure happens with every single goal to every single person. So just keep your head up, keep your chin up, and never give up. All right, that's all I have for you today. I wish everyone good luck in their New Year's resolutions, and I hope you guys all achieve your goals. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, follow us on Twitter. Steve.